Podcast. It's the fast food podcast, Wezzy Wes Morgan Heights. And today we're joined by two special guests in the building. We got Pedro Songs in the building. Yes, yes. And we got T in the building. (laughs) These are temporary replacements for this week for um, Trimless. And uh, obviously, we have no DJ Neglect. (laughs) <laughs> Shout out to DJ Neglect. Shout out to DJ Neglect. <laughs> this motherfucker. I hope Hammock. I hope Hammock Life is treating you well. Hammock boy. And Trimless <laughs> is busy. Trim decided to take another holiday. Ain't that like that eighth one this year? Where's he gone? Turkey. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, he's gone Turkey. I was like, when I was at home before I left, wifey was like, Trim's J- Trim not there today. I was like, no. She was like, he's always on he's holiday. Always well, on holiday. He looks like a fucking. That's turkey. his job. I'm sure. <laughs> he looks like a turkey. That's his like job. Jobs are holiday. Bro. His jobs turkey are holiday. Boy. To be fair, more power to him. I wish I could Living do that. In his life, man. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so a shout out to the mandem in the building. Yeah. Me and Wesley Wes holding down the fort today for us through podcast episode three. Three? Three. Is three? Season two, three, bro. Three, season bro. Season two. Yes, season man. Two What's episode. good? You ain't been cancelled yet? No. No, no, last no. episode was okay. too entertaining. Oh, the thing is, we can only cancel ourselves. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> we yeah. are the man. We are the man. We are the man. There's three black people in charge as well. So what? So what? We got to just do some shout outs because I always forget every frigging time I come on the podcast to send out shout out to people. So first of all, shout out to Claire. Shout out to Shannon. Ang type my brother Teeks. Shout out to Linchos, aka Linchos Machachos. <laughs> Big him up. They uh, loved last episode. Yes. They all had great, great feedback on the episode, enjoyed it, said it was really riveting. They said that it was actually something that they just couldn't get enough of, to be fair. Mm. Uh, Shannon was like, he was he was running through Tesco's and he was like, Jesus Christ, this, this, this shit is... Yo, he, he, like, it took him way too long to get his groceries. <laughs> you know the ones there, but he enjoyed it thoroughly. So shout out to him. And b- big up our, um, our guest last week. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, yeah. Oh. Dan, Dan Nero. Dan, Dan yeah. Nero, big him up. Big up. Come I heard up. he had a very successful event. Very successful unwind retro it. event. I couldn't make it either. Couldn't make it. Um, but I'm in talks with him to do something for my birthday there. So um, oh, wicked. We're trying to sign. When up is for your that. birthday? Yeah, December fifth. Yeah. 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 December fifth. December fifth. So okay. it'll be that 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 Friday. Yes, so, all right, man. Shout out to them. And also, if you did did miss that episode, you can go on SoundCloud. You can go on iTunes. You can go on YouTube. So SoundCloud.com forward slash Fast Food Podcast. You can listen back to that episode. Also, subscribe to our YouTube account, Fast Food. Just search Fast Food Podcast and subscribe. And there's going to be a lot of content going up there in the new future. But if you want to catch the episode last time, catch that one. And if you've got a Android, yep. you can catch the podcast on podbeam.com. So anybody that has Androids, go that direction for the information and content that is so juicy right now that uh, it's causing a massive hysteria. The video, the video gives it a whole, a whole different concept. You know, crazy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, me and G had um had uh, the different opinions on on how the video came out. Uh, we were, whereas we were both on the same the same wave yeah but you know if anyone has any comments about the video just believe that it's working this this will work in progress yeah, whether right? it's work in progress or not i'm just saying the fact that like to see it yeah when you, when you listen like you 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 have the imagery do you know what i mean like yeah. you imagine mm. what trim's doing or his faces or whatever and it's just watching it it yeah. gives it that, see how many veins can goal. pop out of wesley's head <laughs> did you and see next- did you see, did you see the comment that was left on the on the on the page no somebody uh I can't remember exactly what was said. Um, We're going to need somebody to come down to this show and just do shit for us while we're here talking like a researcher or somebody (laughs) who just sits there and gives us information when needed. But someone on that on that video was like, oh, you know, talking about Drake and and how he's a and the chick situation and rare, rare, rare. And it didn't go down. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry, fast I don't, foodies, I don't live with him. foodies, <laughs> fast fooders, people locked in. We don't know shit. <laughs> so I hope you don't come to this podcast to get factual information from us. If you're that guy, actually, directly <laughs> to that guy who has left that comment, I don't want you here. <laughs> we don't. It's true. I don't, don't fucking know, want you we here. We don't know nothing. The thing is, with podcasters, everything is a matter of opinion and what you yeah. put your timeline into perspective. Do you know what I mean? 
So if someone's going to be like, well, this happened on the 8th of March and then it actually happened at 9.15 on the night. Bro, who cares? Yeah. Look, if, you, if anyone's going to fuck with Stato, they're going to have to come talk to me. We don't like, know. I am Stato. Like it's everyday struggle style, and yeah. flipping <laughs> Joe, Joe Budden's podcast, everybody's own podcast. They get the information and they read it as they feel. You know, they, they tell the their new, own story. We're the new news source. That's hey, what I'm hey, saying. Hey. Everybody tells it their own way. Do you hey, know what I mean? Drake mentors a lot of teens in the industry, girls and guys. Oh, it's no. gross, y'all would think that this is American. Oh, right. You could it's, tell. Gr- it's gross, y'all would think that it's automatically something sexual. Wait, can you... Can, we didn't say the, that. Go back to the first line again. Drake mentors a lot of teens in the industry. So did Jimmy Savile. Next question. He made he made me pull it back as well. Pull it back. I just had to hear it again. I was like... pull, I'll pull. Drake... Drake mentors a lot of teens in the in the industry, girls so and guys. Weinstein. <laughs> it's gross, y'all would think that it's automatically something sexual. Also, he ain't dating the eighteen year old either. There were so no what? pictures of them both. Denied it happened. Oh. Anyway, everybody has a publicist. Can make rumors up online, and anybody can deny things with a publicist. <laughs> What's his name? What's the username? Fuck you know, I don't know, bro. Right. I Mr. Did. Nobody, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Worst thing is, it's probably Drake himself. Like, it's probably he's, he's on Vanity Fair. Like, actually, to be fair, that impression sounded really nasally. <laughs> yeah. That's how he probably sounded. <laughs> like, if you read it you, in between half the sentence, he's like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> I read it and I was like, oh my days. Wait, bro. I forgot where I am. Hold on one second. But, one second. Yeah. <laughs> but let's talk about let's talk about this a minute. Like, right. how do you not feel about this new generation of everybody? With our souls having opinions, have how opinion. do you feel about that? I, I hate it. I feel like everyone's entitled to it. No, I hate it because everybody gets offended by everything. And everything. that's a different. That's no, a whole it's different. Because that's where. Because at the same time, then they have no. their opinion on it, and it's like sometimes your opinion isn't valid, bro. Like, yeah. just let yeah. me say how I feel, and if you've got something to say, cool. Debate about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm open for a debate. I'm yeah. open for you to get your point across, but for let sure. me say how I feel. In it, you can't tell me that that my feeling yeah. is wrong. Yeah, bro, fuck off. Yeah, mm. sorry. But, but the thing about the thing about it, I'm I'm. I'm like this with it. I'm like on the fence because everyone obviously does have an opinion yeah. on su- on specific things. But sometimes when you're doing something creative or you're doing something that contains producing content, I feel like if you don't do that in your everyday life and you haven't really got any source of, you know, credentials, a lot of it you should take with a pinch of salt yeah. when it comes to those comments. But you're meant to. I've been an artist for how long? And if I go through all the negative comments that people have left on my videos, it's too long I'm gonna slip my fucking wrists by now. I don't care. Even wifey was like one time I did a video, I can't remember what one it was, and it went up on the Vivo channel. Mm. And then, boom, I started getting comments. Nah, oh, this, who's this guy? Who's this rapper? Who's this, 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 this? And my girl was almost next to tears. She was like, I can't believe that they would say such. I'm like, ba-. I walked through the door and I was like, babe, have you seen much views I'm getting? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I was, babe, I'm like, babe, I'm going to hit 100 bags right With now. Every like, bad let, comment, let, there's a view. <laughs> let's, let, let's do this. You know what I mean? So it's... It's a funny thing. I think because obviously the new age that we live in with Twitter and Facebook and everybody's got comments or everyone's got a comment. <clears throat> it's 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 kind of like, all right, cool. I hear you, but suck a dick. Listen, yeah. one, of, one of my probably most famous modeling pictures, yeah? And I'll say it in myself. It's a, it's a bit of a... It's, it's a weirdo picture. I'll be real. It's a weirdo <laughs> picture. Like, yeah. I'm in a purple onesie. Like, what are you I'm, doing in a purple onesie? Yeah, yeah, shut up. No one's talking to you. I'm speaking to the foodies, innit? Cut, you know the ones there. You like, know the- cut scene. Get out my conversation. <laughs> anyway, back to the foodies. Wesley and, and, and Pedro. Niggas like, in a I, pe- Pedro in in purple mouth. onesie. Anyway, I'm in a purple onesie. I don't care. The picture's a bit weird. It is end a of the day, he, End of the day, he probably got paid for that. That's the thing. Yeah, and the so looking like a motherfucking Teletubby. Looking like purple Looking like Barney. Uh, like 
Tinky Winky. Look like Barney on steroids. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> a hench Tinky Winky. With, with the injection still sticking out my back. Like, <laughs> anyway, pause. Um, and I won't lie, on Instagram, I got flamed by Brez. Yeah. Flamed. And yeah. I was like, thanks. Because every time you guys made a comment, every other female was like, no, but it's this. And then I said, do you know what? It's cool. Because at that show, I made five grand. And when that picture got edit, um, got printed, I made 10 grand. Yeah. And every time you make a comment, I just repost it. And it just gives the people more 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 appeal yeah so you can flame yeah. me all you like mm. I, I care because i said i know the picture's free I, well not even so much free it's just a weirdo picture it's not you know are you, are you, what is it what is, have you got too much stuff on show or? no not even it's just i mean i put I, I'm, I'm doing a runway show yeah i'm at the top of the i'm at the top of the runway yeah and it's just i'm in, in a purple, purple onesie, onesie with a with a purple that's like it. ninja turtle that's thing nice. around my face I mean, that's that's cool, it, man. my chest is out and it's, 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 fucking it's, like like it's all right it's, Shit. yeah but i, I won't, it's a it's Zachy, a, you're looking like the picture. adam you're looking like the adam west batman <laughs> <laughs> no people have dressed up for worse for money trust me yeah. Go, yeah. go on fucking craigslist you'll yeah. find it oh, <laughs> for real Shit. Boy, listen you don't even want to do that surely do you think in this day and age like remember when we were younger it was like if you ain't got nothing nice to say don't say nothing right now it's like maybe we should should probably keep that old yeah. school no, mentality. No, I, find, I find these days people are saying things just because they know there's no fake. A reaction. Like if you go on Twitter, you can just type at Drake, you're a cunt. And yeah. nobody's yeah. going to tell you. Yeah. Oh, you might get a bunch of Drake. You can just ignore it. Yeah. But some people, if you're going on there purely for the specification of spreading hate yeah. and just being a fucking hater Absolutely. and a troll, then I don't agree with that. But there's that. a difference between trolling and hating. Because I troll my friends because it's all with love and Yeah, trollers hating is implying I mean? that, that, that they have but, something you want. But no, trolling is more like, I'm just winding you up. But yeah, either I'm way, hating. there's malicious intent behind both. Not really. Because you, you can troll and have a laugh. Because I troll my friends like with our, with our gym picks and our, our competition shows and all that kind of... We troll each other all the time. And it's, it's done without laughing. Can we, can we, can we, can we say, define the word trolling here? No, because, because tro I think trolling, what, trolling in its sense is just to... Spread, send a comment whether it be banter or whether it be malicious but trolling across the board is it's it's very vast you know there's there's a thin line to say what trolling is directly I've always spreading known spreading hate I've out and out known. hate is when you're just being out and out disrespectful and you can like I can say gee you're a cunt that's not trolling that's just being an arsehole that's that's hate yeah. like, like for example I can, I can troll someone and say gee why does why does your face look so big in that hat Bro. And be laughing and joking. He'd be like, "Oh, but shut up, though." Like that's a bit of trolling. But he would troll us in like in, in like the WhatsApp group, right? All the and time. like we'd be we'd be like talking about rappers and whatnot, whatnot. And I'd be like, and then he would turn up like, "Young Fug is the best rapper yeah, alive." Yeah. All right, cool. Like, but that's, that's trolling, but and you know that's a joke. Yeah, but that's, that's a joke. But possibly we're gonna, get, we're gonna get into <laughs> trolling really quite quite in depth because I want to talk about certain certain trollers going on in the industry, certain trolling going on in the industry, or like Joe Budden. But like when when we say when. I feel peds, right? In a sense where... I'll pause that one for you. Pause. <laughs> pause. When you tro troll into Time me, to is, is, is also, it comes across to me as a little bit of hate. It's come across as a hate when you're a hater. When you're, when you're saying you're trolling to your pet Fred, when you're, when you're trolling to your fellow... Yeah, your peers or whatever. Your that's peers, what you know, yeah. it don't feel like a troll. It feels like bants. But that's what I'm saying. And that's a word that I wouldn't use trolling for. But when it's I still see trolling, trolling, it's still because trolling as a whole comes from. It, it, it's a trolling as a whole doesn't come from one particular area. Yeah, I, 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 hate, that, I can see hate, what he's saying. I, I, yeah, no, because hate. You know when someone is hating on you, you know directly. Yeah, but you're you're using the example of your friends. No, but so I can, you know I can, I can troll, the reaction. I can, but I can if I'm going around, I can troll a random person and be sarcastic. Trolling can be sarcasm. Sarcasm doesn't always mean hate. No, but tro that's not trolling. That's trolling's an online, but, trolling's but an online not, term, right? I have a concept of trolling. That's what I'm trying I mean, to say. I suppose trolling if you were to so go vast. on Google and search trolling, I don't think it would say banter, sarcasm. It would just be like general... Sarcasm is... A, is general a, negative. Is sarcasm is under there because some people see sarcasm as a... Because as a, as a if I went online and I was just like... We if use I said sarcasm to wear, nowadays wear hats too much or something like that, that's kind of like, wind, you know, winding someone up is different. Trolling, I, it, yeah. I just find is quite malicious. Tro like. Trolling to me comes across like you're blatantly trying to piss that person off. Yeah, of course. So, like, if we if we're bantering across across the board, and it's your and it's your peers, it's cool because you know them. Yeah, and you know the reaction. And there's a different reaction to it. Where when you troll somebody no, online, you when peers. you troll okay. someone online, you, you don't know. You can still piss off your peers. You can go. You can go. Hold <laughs> it. You can go. What the fuck is this? What is this? What's this problem? If you see me on the street. 
I guarantee you, you wouldn't say that to mm. me. You put your hood up. Where your brethren, <laughs> where your brethren would see you, would say it to you, and wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it, there's a different, there's a balance to which it. Which is why, which is why I'm a saying trolling as itself, it's so vast. Yeah. Whereas when you say, when you said directly hate, hate is, you know where that's coming from. Mm. You know, because you could go read through 10 comments, yeah? And one person can say the same thing 10 different ways. I trolled 50 and, cent yesterday. And it, and it, I trolled 50 cent yesterday and, to his face. and Twitter <laughs> locked off my account for 12 hours. Yeah, of course. So I've got a definition. I've gone on Urban Dictionary, right? Talk to me. And I've got a definition of trolling. Go on then. And this might help settle it because it says here that trolling relates to the internet. Mm. So it's an internet only yeah, term. Yeah, of course. That's what it came from. Is the deliberate act of making random, unsolicited and or controversial comments on various internet forums with the intent random or... Okay. Controversial exactly. comments that, on yeah, various yeah. internet forums with the intent to provoke an emotional knee jerk reaction from unsuspecting readers to troll. engage in a stop. fight stop. or argument. That's a troll. Okay. That's a troll. Yeah. That's a troll. But at the same time, I can I can still make that same type of comment and get an emotional knee jerk you're, reaction from a friend. No, no, you're right, you're right. That's and that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. Even but, that definition is still quite But we need fast. to not but we need we need to separate the two, right? So yeah. you know how we have certain words for certain things depending yeah, yeah, on the yeah. scenario and situation, oh, the yeah, English yeah, yeah. language no, anyway. Which I yeah. understand, which I completely understand. Trolling's the same thing. What we do between the four of us, for example, wouldn't be a troll. We take the piss out of each it other. Wouldn't be a troll. We wind each yes other so up. No. It's I wouldn't, banter. I wouldn't say that's you were tro trolling. When when we go at, e at each other in a way that's maybe pushing but, each other. But there's pushing. been there's been times in the group where people have got have got pissed off. Yeah, of course, but and it's gone left. But well, we've had arguments. Uh, look at the the whole steroid thing last year or oh, when was it a year and a half ago can I, I get like, some context no. <laughs> can the listeners get some context <laughs> alright so yeah, no, finish you talk about it like it's so, regular so, no, so, no, I'm loving this conversation that's right. thing from last year I'm like right, so I love this conversation I'm, I'm, before, I'm, I'm like bro a little, a little insight uh, this is T talking I'm Gino's younger cousin I'm one, of, I'm one of the babies of the older cousins yeah and I was scrawny as hell I'm talking about like Probably weighed a buck oh five. What are you talking about? He was a fat motherfucker when I he was, was a baby. Pedro, there's no, hope for I'm us. Talking, I'm talking about <laughs> as as a teenager, I was really skinny. Okay, cool. So every, they always knew me as besides G, was uh, the squeezing the cheeks bullshit. Yeah. Always knew me as one of the skinniest Pause. ones. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my world, buddy. <laughs> right, right. I was probably slimmer than you, bro. Honestly. Swear. Yeah. And then, I put on a stone this year. Shouts to me. <laughs> oh, so you took the stone? I lost. Same. Yeah, yeah, must have been same, me. Same, must same. have been me. <laughs> he was so, the shit that fell out. So, so. Obviously, I was doing my shows, and mm -hmm. there was just pictures of me slightly bigger, leaner, whatever, whatever. So G B and G, we were talking about something else actually. We were talking about something left, and then I was winding up a former member of the group, AJ, and then G took AJ's side. This yeah? is a talk shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then G took AJ's side of it. So I was like, G, like, what well, go on? Like, you don't even know what's going on. So G made a comment like, oh, shut up, you're getting emotional because you haven't taken your stories today, yeah? And then wow. he just, obviously, w the way we've grown up, if you react in any form of way... That I've got you. That's it, I'm yeah. going to make it worse. I've, I've willed Especially you in, in your and family, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that was what I was. I was on my, and the thing was, I was, walking, I was walking through my lunch break at work. You know, it was just, I was pissed off. And I was like, G, what the fuck are you talking about? Shut up, who's on stories? And he was like, that was it. That was the yeah. green light. It's like the hook had been and thrown out. And it wasn't even a bit. hook. It wasn't even a hook. He just said, "Get over here." Like, <laughs> he got me fatality, and that was. That's when it. you must have thought you was really on it, though, bro. Because if nah, you but he knew, like that, he knew, like, he knew I wasn't. You, he knew you I wasn't. But it's oh, okay. the, the pure fact of I, I just gave him the reaction he wanted, so that yeah. was it. And not even just G, the whole group ended up just annihilating me yeah, for what yeah. I thought. It was. It was. It was a. It was a meat fest. That it got to a point where AJ was like, "Like guys, like me, like." really and truly like you should ease up and I was like nah it's cool I, I fell into that kind of thing but I opened my phone to 200 yeah like unread seven, messages oh, he was, yeah he was in that yeah yeah, yeah. He was in, but do you know what right I, I get I get what you're saying but you know what happens is as well right this is what happens sometimes when you're having conversations especially in as a group and not everybody you no, know yeah yeah it, feel, that's what it, it was. feels different because that's what it was it me and AJ different. were debating back and forth yeah. and I was I was basically trying to shut AJ down because he was being a bit obnoxious yeah. so I was like bro you haven't even read the whole because I remember it was to do with a topic I was like you're coming from a small part of the conversation yeah. I get your your intellect uh, you're intelligent but you're not the only one that's intelligent in the group but I wasn't trolling you you weren't trolling me I wasn't trolling you, you but it might have felt like no, a troll you weren't trolling me initially yeah. you was agreeing with him and I was saying to you but gee where he's coming from on yeah. what he was saying it was so minuscule I was like he's using one part of a context of a whole broad situation and AJ was basically running with that one part okay. yeah shout out to AJ and um 
And yeah, it really does shout. So <laughs> like shout out to AJ. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just tuning in, you don't know what's going on. Yeah. You're thinking he's like, why my hates this motherfucker? <laughs> and, and and then they literally and then you literally like bandwagon him and they they went full force. And I was like, are these guys even understanding the whole scenario? And then that was it. and then G was just like, oh shut up because you ain't taking your stories. It's all like, right, what, G. The, what the hell, he man? Just went from there. It's all right. Yeah. I feel your pain. He's a prick okay. sometimes. I know. I, I am yeah, a prick. Not he sometimes, is. all the time. All the time. I'm a bit bad though because I enjoy winding my. Family up, but that's the thing, like, we in my all family, do it. We're sadistic. Pedro wound me up before we even before I even picked him up. Yeah, yeah. we talk, wake up like, to me, Pedge. I, I don't know, like being from being from a Carib family, I feel like we're especially evil sometimes. Yeah, we enjoy, course. we enjoy, like, you go that extra mile. Yeah, <laughs> like one time, my mom is so bad mind. All right, this is how bad it got. She said his mom, Paul. yeah, yeah, this is when it all starts. Yeah, Rest my mom peace, called Pedro. up my brother. Moms can be bad mind, made me call up my brother one time when I was about like 10 or 11, and we're like, yo, Chris, he's like, yeah, yeah, what's up. I said, where are you? He's like, I'm on my way back from work. I said, yo, mum's packed all your shit, bruv. She's chucking you out. She's chucking Long. you out. So we put all the rubbish bins outside the front door. And I said, bro, she's putting your shit outside the front door. You know, she's chucking out the window. He's like, I thought he was going to cry, innit? I'm not even going to lie. He's like, bro, I'll be home in five, innit? I was... <laughs> And then that phone hangs there, you just, Doo. I was like, oh. oh my God. I was like, mum, you're evil, yeah. And he come home and he saw the bags at the front door. And Obviously didn't look in them, just saw the bags. Cheers. I was like... Oh my yeah, the, god! The aesthetic of it was beautiful, but afterwards I was like, "Yo, my family's low key evil." Yeah, like, yeah. And then a week later, my brother was like, "Mum, I burnt down the kitchen, so he got her back in it." Oh. So they, she came home from work. No, 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 no. That's cool. Pedro, see, I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna go yeah. there. I knew you were gonna say your mum came home. Yeah. Did he get a beaten? Nah, he was nah, a bit see, old for that No, 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 I don't care. We spoke about this I last don't season. I care. Like, I'm scared of my See, He loves no talking about getting his beatings, you know? Oh, bruv, we no, got are you, are you all crazy? last season you did. Yeah. You, no, I'm not, saying, <laughs> no, I'm not saying no. I'm saying, are you crazy? There's no way my mum's left work yeah. <gasps> over, over a joke. Oh. Yeah. And she ain't either bust my rass or sent me to grandma to get licked by all the uncles. Right, okay, can no. I just say, can I just do shameless plug here? <laughs> if you haven't heard the beating stories, <laughs> go back to season one and listen to the final one. This is, this is your life was the episode <laughs> right, go let's, back and listen all right, all right, let's go let's trim, go, let's... trim swam in rivers bro. Right, check it, check. Oh, check oh, it. Yeah. you know what you know what I've Shout never to Trim's dad you know what I've never Shout asked any all of the family. Boys, and I wanted to ask maintain this and I wanted to ask trim this but he's not here today and obviously Wes you can you can put your piece in or not <laughs> when, sure. when did it's you when, who, when did you lose your virginity I was 16 that's quite early still. Yeah, I was about, I was two months into being 16. <clears throat> I always look mad young. I still look mad young. 25 now. You do but, look um, mad young still. still. I'm 25 now. Yeah, and I still man. You get got, the, you got the young swag. You got the young swag. Baby You're 25. Face. Yeah. Swear. Got baby the young face. swag, fam. And, uh, I thought I was baby face, but I'm sorry. I don't know. It was, a, it was a weird <laughs> one. It was at a party. The girl was older up. than me. Everything. And it was like. I'd, she was older. Yeah, she, yeah. she was only a year older, but you know when you're in year 11, she's in sixth form. So That's, for me, you felt like a man. Spun me. I'm spun you for Pedro back in the day. Yeah. Nine years later. Yeah. And you felt cool, I did it. Man. Man. <laughs> the next day I woke up, I was like, ah! I've done this. <laughs> you immediately felt more manly, chest was yeah. high. You know what it was there? Flush that condom down the toilet. I'm like, I don't even care if it was I didn't use a condom, bruv. Would you, yo, when did you, bruv, when did you use it? Whoa. Yeah, strap. Geez. You see how I dropped that? Get I need, the strap. I need, I need a disclaimer on this one still. Oh, get the strap. Hey, mama, I apologize. <laughs> 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 it was the week before my 13th birthday. 13, hell, 13. T, man. T, like what's wrong with bro. you, man? God. I grew up with people like you, Gino. Come on, T, man. Influence of my older cousins. 13, fam. I was, yeah, it was the week 13. Before. You got no hair on your nuts at 13, fam. I had four strands. <laughs> 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 That's when he was like, I'm ready. Number four came through. He's like, yes. Man was, Let's Jesus go, Christ. penis. It's time. <laughs> and do you know what? The thing was, she was older than me as well. She they was, usually are, bruv, because they're she predators, was, she bruv. Was, yeah, for real. She was in year 10. They're always predators. I feel like they see the potential. She was in year they 10. They do. You know what I'm saying? They Man, see you know future what? you. Well, are you? <laughs> they see she future you. Me, bro. <laughs> they, and they're just like, I'm going to fuck the future you. I, I'm going to fuck the future out well, of you. <laughs> She, she, she grew me. She grew me because I, I knew her. I knew her for years. Yeah. Oh, she was wow. three years older than me. I knew her for years. Yeah. And then I don't know what happened. It was just one of them ones, oh, walking home from school one day. And she's like, oh, come to mine. I was like, yeah, cool. just the usual. Yeah, cool. We're hanging out. Next thing you know, I was deep in something for no reason. Okay, no. For no reason. It. <laughs> my, said for, is, my said for no reason. For no, there, was, there was no like build up to it. There was no like 
I'm gonna get some skins today. Nothing. It was just followed her home. Next that, thing I knew, I was just. That's was how like, you know Whoa. it's a repressed memory, fam. Because how can you go from following her home to straight in the pumps? <laughs> no, <'cause laughs> this is the There's no in between. No, no, for no reason as well. We are yeah, walking no home. I'm not, I'm not gonna say because it would expose some things and people. Yeah, and we were walking home. Yeah, <laughs> we went to hers. It was just what I'm saying. It was casual because yeah. it, it was something we did on a it's daily always basis. Casual. Do you still know this person? Yeah. Crazy. No, so it was cash. <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> um, it was just a just a it was just a daily routine walking back, to, and because she didn't live far from me, would go and chill in the house for twenty minutes, half an hour. Then she'd walk me off to mine. You know, oh, everyone, he's home. You know, one of them ones. Right. Casual. Went to hers. Join a drink. Cool. Sitting down in the front room. Calm. This was just a normal routine. At thirteen, what was you routine. drinking? Fucking fruit shoot. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. It was juice. It was like a ju- John Coke. <laughs> John a Coke. You know, <laughs> chilling out, just chilling. Like, yeah. Nothing. And a yeah. tablet of Viagra. Next thing I knew. She was just on top of me. Wow. What do you mean she was just on top she of you? She was just lap. She just sat on my sat on my laps, and I was just like, "Wow, what's going on?" Just kissing on me. Next thing we were having sex. I was like, "Okay." Oh my Rah. days. That's what did I'm saying. Did you dom up? There was no time to. Dude, that's what I'm trying to say, man. <laughs> Pedro's using condoms and doing safe sex on his virginity <laughs> day. I did everything I'd never done in that plan. <laughs> Pedro's was planned. Pedro woke up that morning going, like 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 I'm having sex today. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we ran in my diary, it. I'm like, he yeah, ran sexual it. intercourse on the diary today. Of, <laughs> Fantastic. The 14th of the 12th, I'm, I'm having sex today. <laughs> Mother, I will be losing my virginity this evening. <laughs> Yesterday I was a boy, today I'm a man. So the sick thing is, right, I started mad late. It formed the how cries, man. <laughs> Light the fire, like there's hey, villagers. Hey. <laughs> in fa- like Family Guy, we last on the fire, yeah, like. And he's like, tell the villagers. <laughs> tell the villagers. Nice. Shell <laughs> Teagues. Nice. <laughs> 18 when I, when I lost it. That's respectable. 18. That's very respectable. That's mad because. Your mom no, and dad would be proud. The thing about it is, look, if, do you know what? It is not mad. I said that's mad because that's kind of shit I say. But in that's, terms of how I was brought up, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, that's it's not mad. To it's be just, fair, I wasn't. I that's wasn't still even, young the way you were brought up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true, bruv. Like, <laughs> like, if it was down to my parents, I wouldn't. Twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Married. Yeah, married. <laughs> everything with my Christian parents, bruv. Yeah. They were on that. Uh, see, shit. my mum couldn't say shit, bruv. She had twins at seventeen. Oh so yeah, yeah. Like, she got no talk. As long as I didn't do that, yeah, no, I'm she, winning in life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Win. My my mum gave me the sex education talk, and I pretty much ran with it. Yeah, my mum gave me. Oh yeah, like. Oh, yeah, never done it. Like, <laughs> I ran with it. I so I met this chick, right? I met this chick. I was out in a rave. I was went, I went to Voodoo Magic. Shout out to shout out to Voodoo Magic heads. Jungle Jungle Days, because that's when I started raving in the Jungle Days. I'm right? only 28. Have so you for, have you two ever heard of that? Yeah, Voodoo yeah, Magic was popping off, right? Popping off. Oh, anyway, I'm skanked out, bro. Fully skanked out. So I've sat down on the side. Beating a sweat. Yeah. I sat down on the side. I'm just Can you, I'm going to see it now. I'm gathering my thoughts, bro. <laughs> Wiping his forehead. I'm chilling, bro. And this chick, and this chick sits next to me, right? And you know when you're just like. Peeped it. Oh, it's, it's kind of chung still. Man. It's kind of chung. So I'm sitting there anyway. And she goes, oh, do you know what the time is? I said, I know that. I know them. <laughs> them bars there. I know, I know what's what, happening. Do you, do what's you the know? time here? <laughs> Call uh, past you, this yeah, dick. I know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what time it is. And she was, and then we started getting, we started talking. So anyway, took the number, boom. Back in the day when you used to take each other's numbers. In well, you had to write it down. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, write you know it down. I mean? The days before oh, BBM. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, took that her number. Special, you know? Two twos now. She's called. We've, we've spoken. She's like 25. So I'm 18, she's 25. Flipping off. I've I've gone to link her. She's picked me up in a car. Oh yeah, them first times. And I was like, hold on a minute. You this chick's grown. got a whip. You felt grown. What the fuck? Yeah, because when she comes pick you up in one. In one yeah. in a whip, fam. So, grown. so I've gone in a whip now. I'm gassed. I've already called man them. I'm in a whip, bro. <laughs> I'm in a whip, yeah. bro. And it's not mums. <laughs> <laughs> you know the ones there? Because you tell your man them everything yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah. Now you don't tell your man them shit. Nah, back in the day, you told them everything. So I'm like, I'm in a whip. Oh, safe. Hold it down. Boom. Gone back to her yard, who what she pays for and she rents. Flipping off. She got Bro. a crib. Jeez. So I'm there, I, I'm chilling, and it's like I'm on the bed watching TV, and she's whipped. She just whipped it out, fam. Like, hold on, what? <laughs> you didn't. You did not even <laughs> realize. You're like, yo, my she, dick. She, <laughs> she just whipped it out. She whipped it out, and obviously, like, obviously. Did you feel the same I'm, thing I did? Yeah, yeah. Funny. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. 
experienced for you. I'm not experienced. Lady. She's whipped. She whipped it out. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. I guess this is what's gonna happen. I guess. <laughs> I guess this is what's gonna happen. And she whipped it out. And then obviously we, 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 we you know, I did the thing. Same with Pedge. Woke up the next day like, bumba claw. I've lost. <laughs> I've lost my virginity. Bro, everything you just home. explained sounded like a biggie line. Skipped home. <laughs> <laughs> Skipped home. Then she's called me. She all right? I said, oh, I'm all right. I'm, what, 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 tonight? I'm good. <laughs> Went back round there, right? So anyway, fast forward now. I've, don't forget, right? I've told her that I'm older than I am. So I've told her I'm like 21. Oh, these times deception. I'm, these times on my 19th birthday's around the corner. So I'm at my mum's anyway. One afternoon at my mum, she's called me. Babe, I want to take you out for your birthday. You want to go Fort Park? I said, Fort Park's the lick. Let's go. She goes, call the man then. I'll bring them with you. She was, oh, she's such a sweetheart. Shout out to her. She was just cool. She, you know them, them girls that want to bring everyone in? Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's dope. Anyway, I've gone, yeah, I'm going to turn 19. It's going to be lit. She goes, what? I was oh. like, ooh. Uh, um, silence. Crickets, fam. <laughs> oh, crickets, shit. crickets, crickets. Then she's gone, why don't you just tell me? I was like, babe, like, 20 or 25, yeah. like, and you're, and, you're, and, you're, and you're good food. And like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and she was like, cool. And she, straight off the bat, she was like, look, forget about it. Let's keep it moving. She and that, would. That's what it was. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. She got that dude. You get me? Like, I'm not willing to sacrifice just, another number. Yeah, man. Fuck it. She thought about it for a second for me. You know what? It was actually all right, you know. But we're, but we're, 18 year old knows what he's doing. But women know, women know when they, when they, when yeah, they find something. Because you can train a dick. That's yeah. what she's trying to say. Like, yeah. I was, uh, that's what, shout out to the girl I lost my virginity to. Yeah. Like, I don't, I didn't revise for none of my GCSEs. I just fucked every day oh, prior to that exam. <laughs> and I passed those motherfuckers because I had no stress. <laughs> two times two of the square root of like, eight is gross. <laughs> That's cold. Yeah, yeah oh, she just she she she. I suppose this sounds suspect, but she grew me a little bit, boy. She was just like they do that. She, she had me ready. That's what, what I, I think. Okay. I don't think right. for men. She's like, do this, put that there. Like, Great, of, thank you. Of, I need instruction. Yeah, no, you know what I say that yeah. Yeah, that, that's true because when you started messing with people your own age, or when you started going on to the next one, the next one, you fought back and thought, you know what, I can do this now. Mm. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and then you think back to the person that you got the you. juice. Yeah, yeah, fully. You got the juice. Fully, because two pack. I fully right. was for for a long time. I never touched a girl my own age. For time. Yeah. By time no Savile. Yeah. No Savile. Never. <laughs> you just never. Gotta clarify. Yeah, never that. First by, the, by, the time, by the time I slept with someone that was my age, and I'm talking about maybe a year or two, these guys were thinking I was a grown man in the yeah. sack. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just giving teaching. you that hungover dick as well. Like, you know, the next day when you call them on a Sunday, you're like, yo, <laughs> yeah. listen. Like, yeah, what were you up to? Do you want to go out today? Nah, just come to just my come house, round. please. Come, yeah, yeah, come round to my house, please. Bathe me. I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Bathe me. <laughs> That's you know what's so Hey, Joe's just on the phone like, I've just grapes. got back from the under-18 works, <laughs> hey, what, was, <laughs> what was your go-to movie when you had a chick around your house back in the day? I got a few still. Above what, the Rim. Above the Rim, Boomerang got... Oh, yeah. I got low every time I put Boomerang on. What's Boomerang? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Bro, what's Richard wrong with you? Pryor. It's a Eddie Murphy Boomerang. You've never Halle seen Berry it. Halle Berry original. Boy. It's like the okay, prime of the comedy. Halle. Two generations of comedy meet each other in that film. Boom, when That's you get Halle home, Halle when Halle you got time and you're chilling. Boomerang, my motherfucker. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you understand why G likes feet. Boomerang. Will I? Yeah. yeah I don't yeah, forget what I understand. You will. You will. From that movie where we'll, talk, we'll show <laughs> you why G likes feet. Okay. You will. It came from there. You get it. No, no, it was real. Now, do you know what? I wouldn't even lie. I was a bit more sadistic. Horror movies. No, that's see, I can't watch horror movies. Exactly. Like, you can't watch horror movies. You know, the last person I got movies, was while watching Game of Thrones. Rotted. I said, can you see? What, the first first season? I think we were second season in it. And she was like, yeah, we're well, going to watch it Were you second together. season in Anani? Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, expect it, though. Yeah. She did the whole, like, leg over thing where she puts the knee over your leg. Oh, yeah, like, that. You know, she, she showed you a bit You can ass. see the booty, yeah. yeah. That's oh, what I'm saying. Oh, oh, I'm looking out, at that. Oh. Shout out to women who know what they're doing. You know what you're doing when you put the leg shout over. Shout out to women who know what they're doing. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do. They do. So, holy so, shit. So, <laughs> you know what? Do you know what? See the women that won't come on to you, but come on to you. Yeah, if we could get cancelled, we would have been cancelled. 
<laughs> at least we didn't say shout out to the women who also don't know what they're doing because yeah, they provide yeah. good times for men all over the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know fact, what I mean? Great conversation. The fact next you. day, they're like, what am I doing here? I don't know, bitch. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know either. Please, please. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, great dear, conversation. Oh, dear, oh, dear. They, do you know what the thing is? They always say, oh, girls have their little groups and their WhatsApp groups. And like, but so do we. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, so true. Like, there's one theory I always had, yeah, is that when like two girls go on a like a lads holiday destination together, yeah. yeah you know what I'll go on in it. When yeah, there's just of two of them. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Is it just me? When or, Becky and Lucy just want to go all the way yeah. for the weekend. Marbella weekend. Come on. Yep. And they talk about, we've already done this, th- this is the first time. Come on. Really? You're about Ten to minutes eight later, dicks they're sniffing coke off your dick. Like, come on. Come on. Sniffing <laughs> coke off your dick. Hashtag Marbella. Bro, bro. Ha- bro. Ha- oh, <laughs> man. Hashtag Raw life Napa. experiences. Hashtag Iron Napa, bro. Oh, I spilled the juice. Bro, Iron Napa was, bro, it was just like you just spilled juice, bro. Clumsy, innit? Yeah, man. Shut up for our punch, Spill, bro. Spill, ju- spill juice, niggas. I I'd call like you two to have a fight. That'd be quite interesting. I don't know who would win that. I would. No, I wouldn't fight him, I think T would. I'd be like, I'll kiss him on the cheek. I'd be like that referee that was there. (laughs) What what, what (laughs) fighting him for, bro? You got to understand, bro. He, this is my little cousin. He's massive, but he's my little cousin. Like, I had him in my arms. Let me tell you in my arms. Pause. (laughs) 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 I'm nurturing this motherfucker from day one. This is like, this is my, my we we don't, we could This episode's so suspect. This This whole episode's taken, we want to like straight and narrow, and then all of a sudden, (laughs) swerving all over this motherfucker like some fucking, (laughs) so many different segues. We're just having a chat, man. We're just having a chat. This is what happens when the bossy comes out and you three start getting juicy because, so what do you want to talk about, Wes? What do you want to talk about? Uh, I tell you what. Let's get back on track. Who's One thing I do want to talk about, and it's um, it, it's something that was up in the news recently, and I don't know, I don't know how like in tune you guys are with this, but Suge Knight Jr. Oh, here we go. Can we just yeah. talk about Suge Knight Jr. real quick, right? So he so he claims that Fully. he claims two packs alive, right? Oh, and we've been hearing this conspiracy for fucking twenty years now, Cuba. right? It's never <laughs> ending. Listen, he's a boss man in Kilburn, bro. I've seen it. That's it. That's where he's Listen, gone. though. He's I mean, I said to I said to Sammy about this because she told me about this, and I went to her. This guy either has a lot of time on his hands, or some shit's going down. Yeah. Because there's text message exchanges from someone saying to him, "You said too much. It's time for you to go." Oh God. And he you said, "The truth will come out, and I'm not going anywhere." Like middle fingers and emojis yeah, and that. Yeah. Oh my like, God. Like posting pictures of Fifty Cent with an, an older looking Tupac and Beyonce with a very older looking Tupac Absolutely. as well. Yeah. I mean, don't be wrong. They 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 don't look real. But fuck. You I remember you you messaged me in the WhatsApp and you sent me that link. And I purposely didn't click the link because I was like, you're sick of it. I'm sick of it. But I tell you what, is it bad of me that I kind of little bit part of me so wants to believe it? But the thing is, yeah, my thing is like, what's the, what, let why the, does it matter if he's Let alive? the man rest in peace. Listen, right? Saying, like, there is new Tupac music coming. Yeah, There's there always is. new Tupac music. No, no, but there the is Tupac the things. That, that Dave Chappelle skit was, was the best thing. Yeah. You know when he goes in the there GTA, and he's talking, yeah, about, yeah, yeah. He's talking about CJ. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Do you know what? That's so accurate because if he releases new music constantly, how? Yeah. Two Packs Estate has just got access to the like um the music again, in, in, right? In, in, in and the there's stash. hundreds of more songs yeah. in the stash. And there is a new Tupac album in production. I tell you what, if I listen to that album and I'll be monitoring anything that comes, like a motherfucker. Any, any, if I hear seven. fucking Trump or Kanye, <laughs> I'm I'm no, ye, I'm calling ye. bullshit. I mean ye. He's gonna turn ye. around and be yeah, like fucking GK. Whoa. I mean I mean I'm t- as much as, as Obama much as did that, two terms, like what? <laughs> the, you got you got Puck? two packs. <laughs> that was Donald a great Trump proposal. In the White House. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> two packs. Two packs are so iconic. <laughs> Obviously, we would love for him to still be around <laughs> and still Black hiding, Lives Matter. <laughs> hiding around, hiding somewhere. But Why? realistically, he's, let he's the man. Resting. That's if, what I'm saying. He, we know that Tupac did a lot of music before he died, knowing that he probably was going to kick the bucket That's at the, some exactly. point. Exactly. So That's he was in the studio so all music. the, the thing time. Is, it's like them young rappers now. Like you know, that if you talk about death, you attract the energy you give out. Completely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very much a believer death, in damn it, Every yeah. interview, every he made like come with me. Hail Mary, Machiavelli. Like, Machiavelli. Yeah, God bless the dead. Like the Illuminati album was all about death. Like, and yeah. the thing is, like, I, I'm a strong believer in that. Like, it's I, real. I, I don't yeah, like yeah, to be yeah. the most conscious bring, hippie person every time. But we used to, me and G used to say that 
that all the time when we used to speak on the phone back in the back in the music Pete's industry days ready to die. was like we always used to say speak things into existence Ob- yeah. absolutely so we always used to Thoughts talk about things, certain man. things and like make sure and then and to be honest you some of them like that crowd mix thing we did shout out to them if this other thing actually running anymore right. but that yeah, thing yeah. we we were speaking about that and then all yeah. of a sudden we get a call they want us in there it's like, all about energy we yeah, speak about the shit and it'll come it's about energy and don't forget Tupac at the time you know like those who know Tupac's story he was around real gang yeah. shit. But he was I, around I, real... I feel like he was an actor, though. Like, And I've, I've got mad respect for Tupac. I've yeah. read his autobiography. I've read his poetry book. I yeah. know I know pretty much most there is to know about him. But man was from Baltimore. He went to acting school from there. New York. New York via Baltimore. Yeah. He went to acting school there. And then he went to L.A. And it's only... Even Suge Knight was an actor, bro. He's yeah. a failed NFL player who yeah. bought every blood in L.A. that he Do you know what is? Yeah. What? Do you know what is? And that's why he played the gangster. And he probably said to Tupac, listen, you play this role well enough, you will become it. You get and paid. And he became it. And you get you know, paid it's, it's not even that. Yeah, there Puck, you go. Puck did something that you couldn't do nowadays. And you couldn't even do it back then. That's why he ended up the way he did. Mm. You know, But at the same time, you couldn't do it this the, in this day and age. Because you get these celebrities and stuff that all of a sudden want to become gangbangers and that kind of stuff. And you get the real lokes and the real OGs and the pyrus that are pressing them. Yeah. And then they're either extorting them yeah. or they're saying, jump in. And if you That's jump it. in, you've got to put real work in. Yeah, but yeah. they paid them off. That's it, how it, sugar got Extortion. In, yeah. Yeah. It's extortion. But at the same time, Puck, like you said... Puck had no sense of identity. Um, you know, I'm going to be real. I'm a big Puck fan, but he had no sense mm-hmm. of identity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, was, he grew up in New York. He was known as MC New York. He went from MC New York to Baltimore, became an actor. Then he did Digital Underground, which is, was, was Happy Go Lucky. It's, it's from, very, it's like, from, like, it's from the Black Panthers. Yeah. yeah, I know. He, the story was he didn't ever want to do that kind of music, but you still did it. Listen, then, that verse on same song is and banging. Then, and then you went, he went from that Facts. to being Thug Life, which he turned into, he turned, which was actually an acronym. Yeah. So at the same time, you got to understand <clears> that Puck did not have a sense of identity. He How old? What, uh, what age did he die? 25. So then, well, so then you got to think even... He was in, still a court. Co- even, even in his mentality, he, he was not only grown. growing into yeah. a man. Yeah. yeah By got- the time he died, he was only coming into himself. He and was talking about things that a 40-year-old would be expected to be talking about. Someone who's been difference. there. Yeah. Because... By the time he had passed, his his mind and his way of thinking when he was talking about death row East was of a thirty year old, and it was of someone that was actually now building for bigger and, yeah. and older head mentality. When yeah. he was first come out and he was spitting at the cameras and all that kind of stuff, you could, he was a ute yeah. and he was still moving like a rowdy ute yeah. that just got a bit of money. He had, do you not put out it? He moved like a nigga that got a bit of money when they said we should have never gave you niggas well, money. Justin That's Timberlake exactly. did the sa- uh, Justin Bieber did the same thing. But Literally Justin, spat at. F- but well, Justin Bieber is, is, is following the, the root of every other black artist. No, but all, all, I'm, say, all I'm comparing is all I'm comparing is like you the get money you at a yeah, young yeah. age. And you actually you can't help but like if yeah. I had two hundred million Come at on. seventeen or eighteen, you can't tell me nothing. I'm like listen, yeah, we all sit here and bash Joe Jackson, yeah, Michael Jackson's dad. But I tell you what, this motherfucker sound like he did it the right way because you didn't see MJ roll him out like this. No, I hey, listen, at that age, I mean, he literally beat the black off his kid. He literally did. He so literally like, you know what I mean? But Michael Jackson. I mean, don't be wrong. Obviously, being your kid is wrong. He made six celebrities and two moguls. Like, I don't give a damn. Do you think it's worth the psychological damage? Yes. I don't agree. No, Michael agree. Jackson. But that, that went that went down. We to, got given went, such a great talent at the expense of him giving himself. That went just down to his dad. Right, so let's wrap this up. So let's wrap this up. Tupac dead or alive? Dead. Thank you. Oh, I've seen the Tupac I've seen dead, the, dead, the, dead, the, dead or alive, motherfucker. Dead. I've seen the autopsy, bro. He's right. Tupac dead or alive? Just to be controversial, I'm a troll and say alive. That's the name of this podcast. I'm a troll. I'm a troll. Yeah. I'm a troll. Yeah. I'm a troll. I'm troll nation. <laughs> I'm a troll. Did troll you nation. That, you see that documentary a few years ago about Under the Cashy. Cuba, a bunch of Cuban dudes who just before it got made communist, they reckon that Hitler was living in Cuba. In Cuba. And there's like pictures of a dude. <laughs> I'm not. Good. I'm going to be honest. It looks exactly like fucking Hitler. Like, yeah, I I'm heard the one for conspiracy theories, but this one has a whole village of people just saying, "Yeah, all the yeah, Nazis went to this village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the leftover Nazis Shit. went to Cuba, That's and mad. they lived in one village. They all went to Cuba and Argentina because my friend was telling me today actually about this. There's a really interesting series apparently on Netflix that talks about the Nazis that fled West Germany yeah, yeah, yeah. and all went over to, to stay America. in Argentina yeah, and yeah, South yeah, America, and is Israel go out of their way to try and find? 
these motherfuckers. Right. And apparently it's a really good film on Netflix. I don't know the name of it. Why would Israel today, go out of their way? I don't know. They already stole some land. They try to steal more, though. Come on, man. <laughs> Real talk. Yeah. When you take a vendetta way too far. Yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> take it to the end. Listen, karma's, you know karma's a bitch, yeah. It all caught up on Israel eventually, didn't it? Karma, so. karma's, catch it. karma's gonna catch up on this motherfucker as well at some point. Kanye West, bruv. What's Yee. he doing? Wow, What's great segue, by the way. What's his name he is doing, Yee. bruv? What is he doing? Yay is Yee. God. AKA Yay. What's he doing? Yee. So so SNL now, last weekend, right? Last weekend he's gone. <laughs> SNL, he's got a MAGA hat on again. Yeah. And then he's got a With Colin a, Kaepernick yeah, yeah. jumper yeah. on. He's an which is so mad, like, which is just too, like, this is just so <sighs> mad. Like, you got, you're representing what you're supposed to, but then on the flip side, you walked out and you've got a MAGA hat on. Yeah. It's like wearing, 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 wearing a pride shirt. Uh, this is what I mean. So we'd sit here and have a no, debate and a conversation. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a different spin on this, right? Because I'm going to play, I'm gonna play White Devil's Advocate. Literally, this is like the most figurative white devil's, devil's, devil's advocate. Why you gotta bring race to it, bro? It's gotta be though. No, in this term, it will be white devil's advocate okay. based on based on what I'm gonna say. Okay, like I get I get what you're saying, G, and I actually I, I completely agree with you. Yeah. However, going into the <coughs> weird alienated mind of, of Kanye. Mr. Kanye West, <laughs> of ye. the way he probably thinks about it. And he said this before, he wants to try and make the hat so, represent something yeah, else. Yeah, he so that. what he's actually, what I think he thinks he's doing he's gonna is, wear it out of I'm wearing the hat that says Make America Grey Again, but my version of Make America Grey yeah, Again, yeah. Mm -hmm. and my version represents the Colin, Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you see the logic behind but, it. But it's not... This day and age, yeah, it's not, it's all where about everyone's perception. got an opinion and he's guilty and I as a public opinion, He's automatically tarnished, and no one gives him the time of day to do have. Do you not think though? Like, about why it? would you? You can do that and represent that, but why do you need to wear that and take constant pictures in it? No, nah, but do you, do you know, know what? what I mean? You know like, what? You could have just because I'm it's a, I'm it's a throwing his lead, yeah. It's throwing if people's was, face. If this was maybe 15 years ago, and Kanye did that, you know he'd get praise for it. Why? Because there was a point in time where you, where black people as a whole, we span everything negative into a positive. Right. So the fact that he wore the MAGA hat and the Colin Kaepernick, and then he had the the intelligence to explain why he was doing it perfectly. Mm -hmm. And he didn't just say, yeah, I'm doing this because it, 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 it seems it's all right. And people were like, no, nah, shut the fuck up. But he, was, he gave a real explanation of why he was doing what he's doing, where he thinks it can go. 10 or 15 years ago, they would have been like, you know what, Kanye? You're a stand-up guy. I'll take you, I'll do you one even he, further. Before the trolls and before all these boxes, before, you know, you couldn't say this and you couldn't do that and you couldn't do that. And before, yeah. you know, they would have been like, you know what, he's standing up for something. Mm -hmm. And they, and before these this, all these Black Lives Matter stuff, he, they would have been like, he's, he's making a stand, they respect it. Because of, he's wearing something that the white man's um, trying to use to hold us down, but he's got the, the, the black man's power on his shirt. They would have, they would, they would have back then, cool. they, they would have been but, all right with it. But Kanye West, is conflicting. Of he's course. got conflicting views. But he does it for I this think he's purpose. conflicted within himself. Well. Just because he's, no, he's got conflicted he's political he's views, not, that doesn't matter about him. If you think him. he's calculated, you're he's cracked. Not. Because man has bipolar, fam. Yeah. So he's literally the most divided person Ever. in hip hop. Like you know, at the moment. You know, and he's got this free thinking. He's bipolar, right? Yeah, no, and that's true. But I'm okay. saying the condition of bipolar. You can be intelligent and have a mental health disease. Okay. It doesn't make you less of a person, but, but it makes your actions erratic. But they also have access to different parts of their brain. So, uh, to an extent, I mean, they, so like, it, it, it's it only like it's not a whole. Like, if you were to put Kanye in an IQ test, he'd probably be an average person. What the fuck? Musically, you can be a genius. It doesn't right. make you a genius yeah, in every cool. other aspect. Man, of uses his right, creative cool. membrane. Okay, too, man, we're dissecting this, and I like the deep dive, right? But let's get it, let's not get it twisted, right? Yeah, let's not give him too much clout. Right, he <laughs> is. And pissing awesome. motherfuckers off, it's right? Awesome. Good! And he's pissing me off, right? Mm. First and foremost, I love Kanye West as a musician. Let's yeah. just get... We all do, I think. Let's just get that straight. As, as, as a musician... Musically, he's great. I love, the, I love his sound. I came up on all of that shit. College dropout, late mm. registration. The list goes on, right? Even Now, Aiden Kanye Harvard West, obviously, you can see the motherfucker has issues. You can see it. You can feel the energy. You can see. He went on TMZ and said he had liposuction because he wanted to fucking please us. Why are you pleasing us? Please yourself, bro. Or just Se to lose the weight. Second of all, he went on TMZ and said, oh, uh, the slavery, this whole slavery thing is 
a, a control thing and blah 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 which to a degree Slavery it a is because no, he said it sounds like a choice yeah and like to be fair his they, words they did it. get misconstrued yeah, completely yeah, of he, course he was making satire yeah. he was trying to be funny yeah because yeah, yeah, he yeah. laughed he said y'all was you know y'all was free for so and so and you do this yeah that sounds like slavery was a choice but yeah. peds like, mm. but peds he got pulled up on his words yeah. they used at tmz the man pulled him up on there and, said, and he Bro, didn't justify if it. you cut like Kanye West needs to get somebody in PR or somebody he sit with mom. him and That's go, yo, don't say he's this, a man without say a, that. He's a man, he's a man, he's a man without, without a mum. Mom. And you, we all know, we all do it because I've had my moments where my mum's not in the country. Bro, I move reckless at times. And then you, you need that sitting down, that conversation that, look, boy, pull your socks up. Mm. Of course. And, I, and, I, and, and, and especially, boy, especially... And I'm gonna go over the whole race thing again, especially black boys, yeah. black men. We 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 are growing close to our mums. Yeah. And not yeah. a lot of whether we have a, a two parent a household, sing, a where, whether household, whether you're yeah. in a two parent household or a single parent household, because most of the times black dads, even if they were in the household, had to work like a fucking horse. Yeah. I they were agree. never around anyway. Yeah. So you grew closer to your mum, yeah. and the, mm. and so you'd have that certain kind of connection, that bond. So your mum would be like, Peds, you're moving right. Come back to the left. G, fix up, tie yeah. your shoelace. Mm. Tyreek, stop going out so late. Where's your white? But anyway. Yeah, but the thing is, but the thing about <laughs> but, it is. But, and that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, Kanye, Kanye, pre, Kanye, when his mum was alive, yeah, was, he was, the music was out of this world. He wasn't saying anything outlandish. He wasn't doing, even if he thought his mum was probably like, boy, don't you go and say that. Yeah. Now she's not there and he's, I'm in control of everything. Because his mum, remember, you know his mum was also part of his management. I don't know. This is a thing. His mum was also part of his management. I feel like it was more Jay-Z. To, for me, yeah, bro. Like, nah, bro. For me, I'm for, telling you, no right, one let, let, control let, a, a let man me more say this, right? True. Let me say this, right? I don't know how it feels. I don't know how it feels. A, to man. have not to ha not to have a mum, mm -hmm. so I can't sit here and say I empathise with him and I know what he's going through. I don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I still that have my mum. Crazy completely. Right? I know what I I, know, I don't know what it's like. But Kanye, for me, it still sounds like a little bit of an excuse. No, of because, course, I'm because, not saying it isn't. Because Kanye isn't. West has people around him that obviously do love him, right? And he has people who has been mentors in his life outside of his relationship with his mum. Yes. And you do build relationships outside, even though I love my mum to death. I still have people outside of my relationship with my mum who I respect and who I will go to mm. and I will say, listen, am I, am I foul today or am I not foul? I will go to my brother, I will go to my uncle, I've got, I've got people around, and I'm sure Kanye West has people around him. The problem with Kanye West is, is processes, no one's telling him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, and that's where, the problem. And that's because that's he's what, Kanye West. That's, that's what I, feel. I don't give a fuck, bro. No, but I don't care. Saying, if you're Kanye, T, if you're they, Kanye West, bruv, and you're mm -hmm. around me. No, but yeah? that's what I'm saying. There's difference. There's, there's a difference. He also he's also moved away from the people that probably would have told him to shut the fuck up. But yeah, he's moved away from the consequences. Well, well yeah, but, right. but he, literally. Right, yeah. so you got Jay Z, you got Jay Z, you got, you got to understand why Jay Z don't fuck with him no more. And that's the thing. It's like, when you, like, if you ever watch documentaries about Kanye, Kanye, you'll see Jay Z was got, was, was living there. in Chicago pretty much, yeah, was driving there. to his house, yeah. and Kanye would be in bed like, nah, I don't want to get up today. Yeah. He'd go upstairs and say, Donda, let me come in, yeah. let me go wake him up. Who the fuck in the world had yeah. Jay Z come into their house to wake them up? Yeah. Like, yeah. that's why for him, yeah. whenever he, whenever Kanye chats shit, why would he do it on a it public plans, platform? Yeah. Yeah, for him, yeah. it's like, that's you're my, my little, little brother, bro yes. you're my actual little yes. brother. Yeah. Like, and it's like, I'm not only your little brother, I'm all you have now. Yeah. Like, yeah. and you're gonna treat me like this. Yeah. And so like, it legitimately burns. Because I feel yeah, like yeah. Kanye lost bro, too much too quick. After watching yeah, the Throne, yeah, yeah, yeah. it all went started going downhill after Watch the Throne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once they finished that tour. He was making questionable decisions. Yeah. Too much, too quick. Remember, at the end of that tour, Kanye complained about how much time he had on stage. And that's ridiculous. Which is stupid. Because I went to the concert. Mm. So did I. And no, it, had, was it was very that, equal. That, that was an incredible concert. Yeah, it really it's not the was. Fact amazing. It's being equal. I just think the fact the matter is, Kanye wanted to just be Kanye West. And mm -hmm. I think he was sick of it being Kanye and Jay, or Jay Z and Kanye. I feel like Jay Z's like, I created a monster. Basically. Yeah. You know he I has mean? created Frankenstein. This beat monster. Like, because yeah. when Kanye first started to want to rap, everyone told him. By the way. Just, oh, yeah. just to be an arsehole. He's just that. Frankenstein's he... the doctor. Mad. What's the monster called? Monster. Well, that's shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 why, that's, 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 that's why I'm saying. That's why I said just to be an arsehole. That's why, because that's oh, why they never man. reference it like that. Trolling me on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> we provide you educational facts on this show. What, 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 Someone's gonna be in the comments like, no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. The doctor's called. It'll be, the called it'll, it'll be Dr. the Drake guy. Isaac, 18, 1876. There was a book wrote by William Shatner. Like, Frank what the fuck? Frank is like the assistant. Many young children. So what I want to say. What I want to say. All monsters matter. 
the, 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 the fact of the matter is, again, Kanye West is still yeah, confusing the hell out of me. And I was like, you know what? It's mad because obviously Maintain has fucking... Oh, my God. Maintain has proper shut Kanye West down off, out of his life. Off. He don't want to fuck with Kanye. He hurt. And I, and, I, you, and I was trolling. Maintain, you know I was what? trolling. I I was, we was I was trolling. trolling the fuck out of Maintain when Kanye West album dropped the last, the seven tracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yay thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro, you got to hear this. This is banging. And he's like, bro, I can't. That this coonery. Is yeah, yeah, coonery. yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. And I was like, cool. But you got to listen to the music. And I'm still... I can still separate Kanye from the music. Yeah. The, Car- the Kanye West, but everyone with, does it. the you music from the from Kanye from West, I still want to hear. Mm. I just don't want to see him melt down on TV, put the MAGA hat on, which is offended. The thing about it is, right, regardless of what he says he's changing it to, he's trying it's to still do, what yeah. it represents. Right now. What it represents yeah, yep, right yep. now is Donald Trump. What it represents is Donald Trump, who is the biggest racism, motherfucking yeah, racist in the world. <clears throat> and I don't care what you, what you do, and the thing about it is Wes looks like a Trump supporter you, you, he's about to the, say something the, Trumpish Trump doesn't, <laughs> is that a Trump doesn't, day, even, Trump doesn't is. even care about Kanye West <laughs> he tweeted he tweeted Kanye West the other day and said oh I've seen it. I don't even watch SNL I, I heard Kanye West word, 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 wore the MAGA hat do you know what the maddest I thing heard is I two packs from the album he's going to say Trump's on Twitter <laughs> <laughs> How is the president of the most powerful country in the world don't do no press conferences, addresses the whole com- uh, via country Twitter. via Twitter? Yep. Do you, you know what? Else? I'm not sure if I respect him or not because that's and kind text of bad messaging man, like, now. Imagine and he's in bed like, everybody, I just banged Melania. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> Public Perfect service news. announcement. Possibly new son on the way. LOL. And but you know, remember, they stopped Obama from tweeting. They did. Wow. They did. They it stopped. Because when Obama first got uh, in, uh, was first put into presidency, his first uh, first term, they allowed him to tweet for the first two years. After that, he wasn't allowed to tweet. <laughs> They're gonna take Trumps away real quick. Trust <laughs> they me. They won't. They but, won't. You know what? You, when he when he spelt that thing that said Kofifi, <laughs> and everyone was like, "What the fuck <laughs> is Kofifi?" Exactly, yeah. And he was like, "My account was hacked." <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's actually Sean Price. I'm I'm not dumb. <laughs> yeah. It's actually uh, Joe Biden. Hacked can I account. can I just make um one thing about this because I, I get what everyone's saying and I agree that the the, the MAGA hat obviously at this very moment in time represents um a Trump. Oppression. Democracy, right? Oppression tyranny. right we'll now. Say tyranny. <laughs> I don't know Currency. what that word is. <laughs> it represents a Trump administration at the moment, right? But if we go back years and years and years and years and years, like to slavery times, for example, and probably from that day and age to up till now, mm-hmm. there have been words that have been used to bring people down and as a way, like as a bomb. negative word, the N-bomb is the perfect example. And, and there must mean. have been during that, I don't know as, as history, of course, but there must have been a period in the timeline where Chinese. the negative of the N word and the positive way that the black people tried to spin the N word maybe overlapped, right? No, nah, because even it's, to this day it's still controversial. Yeah, no, no, but like you know what I'm saying though. Like it becomes like I'll, more. I'll say it like, like this. a mainstream. Do you see, do you see I what have, I mean? I have, like, yeah. I have, I have, like mainstream. Well, no, I mean, but but well, I mean, because now you got one point. G point, you agree with me? At one point, you're right. At one point, there probably was a divide with the word. Yeah, but it still is now. No, but one was the first black guy to go up to another black dude and say, "What up?" Yeah, he's like, "What." The fuck, nigga? Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah. And so it was birth. Yeah, yeah. And so that From term was birth. Downwards. There we go. But maybe <laughs> if we just give box. it, a, if we just give him a chance, and we're not going to, no one's going to give him a fully a chance. The white let's give, give Kanye the West. <laughs> let's give Kanye West a chance cool. to see what he does with this. What's the worst that can happen? I, I mean, it's been face. about a year, though. Bro, I feel as if you could yeah. ever see G's face. Like, <laughs> I know, but what's but what's the worst that can happen? A lot. I what? mean, what they say, what's the worst that can happen with Kanye West? I think, I he feel, makes Kanye West vice president. <laughs> that's not the worst that can happen. I think. I, I think. Like I think the worst, the worst that I can happen is Donald Trump makes Donald Trump Junior bro, vice president. Bro, I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with Millennium you, right? president. I'm gonna, oh! I'm gonna be honest with you. The more Kanye West does this bullshit, is the more that black people as a whole will move away from him. But do you know what? Do you know what? And, and, and black people are moving away from a lot of people who used to be idols and used to be mainstream. Fallen idol because they're corny as fuck. Look, look at Bill man. Cosby. Right. Look what's happening with Bill Cosby Nobody right now. No, no, no. No rapper fucked with not, Bill Cosby. Let's, let's, no not, let's not talk on that real quick because there's no a controversy in that. One second though. But it's funny you say that about 
us as people, yeah, as black people moving away from, <laughs> I'm light skinned and I'm saying this, <laughs> moving away from our, our own a lot. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, have you seen Kanye's record sales? Have they dropped or have they increased? He's number three in the US charts right now. Right. I love it. Yeah. Running. That I love his song is trash. By exactly, the way. I quite like that, it though. No, but that's my point. His music now It's is, so stupid. No, but I hold like on, it. his music now. Let's be let's be real. It's not of the Kanye level that we know. But then and it's it will, not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Reason why I'm going to cut you. But at the same time, he is still he's still selling like he's producing. What does that matter? The college dropout. What does that matter? So as black people want to be like, I don't want to fuck with him. Uh, I'm standing for for the, for the black guy's standpoint. The commercial market, it's still like, well, it's Kanye West. Whether you Negroes want to want to stand up for it and be against him, we don't give a. Yeah, but that, we're not talking about corporate. We're not talking about money. We're talking about. It, but, it makes, but what do you think Kanye a, West cares there's about? There's a different. There's we're talking about every everyday man. I mean, what do you think Kanye West, I mean, yeah. West yeah. cares about? If yeah. us three right now go, do you know? As a standpoint, we're not going to buy his no, album. No, no, he does no. care about the culture. Facts. Twitter, because Twitter, he would not have gone back to Twitter. Chicago if he didn't care about the culture. Right. Do you no, think he'd make an announcement saying I'm moving back? about where you're from and caring about the culture. Two different. No, because he's not. He's hanging, out with, he's hanging out with the Kardashians. He's hanging out with the Kardashians. He's definitely lost some of his roots, which is why Pedro said he's gone back to to to, to Chicago to get some of that. A lot of people going back to Africa. Snoop just to Dogg say, the hey. other day. Snoop Dogg, Dogg, <laughs> Snoop Dogg the other day, who is one of my biggest icons, told basically verbatim and said, "Shut the fuck up and make your music great again." And shut the fuck up. Basically, right? That's all, that's all and, we and, care and, about. and then he said, "All is forgiven" when he saw him wearing a. A Snoop T-shirt. Yeah, but that's probably what that's, that's a marketing. that's a phone call. That's Which a phone call. Yeah, but that's a, yeah, that's a phone call, Pedge. Yeah, that's a phone call. Yeah, that's true. marketing. Yeah, that's a phone call. That's that's them two. That's both of them talking together. They've they've get, had a conversation. They've had I reckon a conversation. they probably met because they both live in LA. Snoop ain't the type. Snoop probably would have been like, nope. Because you know Kanye hey, yo, West. Nef, Kanye West has probably <laughs> heard what Snoop said and gone, "That's Snoop." Yeah. And I need to respect that. Yeah. And made the call. So I, I like I understand that. Like, and I, I said at the beginning of this conversation about Kanye, it's not going to deter me from listening to his music. No, I can not. differentiate the two. But what I want to, what I don't want Kanye West to do is m remove himself away from the old Isolate. Kanye, yeah, yeah, yeah. where he was. He was talking about uplifting us. Yeah. He was talking about, you know... George uh, Bush don't care about black people. Yeah, he was... Kanye. Yeah, I want... I want. I, I still need that for All right, him. So because let me, you started to lose it. In the work. Michael Jackson did the same thing. Yeah, but... You, but, but What's the difference? No, no. Cause let me say it. In let what me, sense? Don't you talk about him, James. Exactly, but that's in, the point. What, yeah. My, Michael Jackson went from being... He was never a political, he was never a political person. Oh, are you sure? He was never a political. YouTube Michael Jackson's interviews. He was never political. He spoke on a lot of... This is what people don't seem to understand. He spoke on a lot of things when in vast detail. But yeah. so do we all. On, like, it does, and, do you but think he's got to pigeonhole that, But that's the thing. The right people listen to his p political <clears throat> uh, views. And whether we, we, you, me, us took him seriously, and we're like, oh, that's Wacko Jacko talking out of his ass again, and we take it serious or not. But at the same time, Michael went through the same, the same kind of stigma where he went from a black man to a white woman, and he tried to find himself again. And by the time he found himself again, he found up in himself dead. So then there's a pattern with motherfuckers like that. Didn't then. he buy fucking all the rights to Eminem's music or something? He, he, he owned, a, he, he he owned more than half of Sony. I heard that was some he owns shit, the though. Eminem Beatles, dissed him and he bought, he he bought more shares in the label or something. Yeah, yeah, he owns more Beatles. Someone cars, else as well. So he's Beatles direct, and someone he, else. He, had to, he is 50% owner of, 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 of Sony. I can't remember. So yeah. what do we think about... I, like, I know it's, it's not my mind to say, but like... Sony BMG. Conspiracies amongst musicians because you've had Prince who never took a drug in his life never even drank from died what I've heard overdose. and died of an overdose in a lift at his house. Weird. And apparently he was addicted to painkillers. Well, like, I get that he would have been in pain. Michael from, Jackson died of prescription pills. Yeah. Like, it's that just, was given to him by his and own. And then all his music was released after that. Like Prince just had all his music released. Um, who else was we talking about? Well, no, earlier? they're still in court for all the rest of Prince's music. Can I can I just say something about the the post Michael Jackson albums? Can I just can I just say something about because I was I will forget this fall, but I, I feel like it's something that needs to be said in case people didn't notice the the Michael album that came out oh, directly after he passed away. Mm. Um, actually, the the record label actually being sued, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying that um, majority of them tracks was not Michael Jackson. Yeah, Michael it was Jackson. in fact the guy who performs in the Thriller no production. Yeah, yeah. Right. Way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, right. Is that true? Yeah, Apparently. That's yeah, yeah, nuts. Yeah. And do you know what's annoying? One of my favourite songs on that album, Monster, the one fifty cent. Is that the one with Will I But apparently um, there's no. like there's like a hundred tracks of this guy that's got um 
Michael's music. He sounds a lot like him. Well, you would. <laughs> he's been. He's not one of Broadway. He's been, play, he's been playing Michael for damn near over a decade. Okay. <laughs> like, That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about this. Let's talk about some music now like, as we're on that on that vibe. Cool. Yeah. Segway. I got new releases as well, man. Did you, did you hear the Carter? I haven't heard yeah. all most of it. Yeah. My tune. I've my got tune. some my tune. views and that. My tune. This is, oh, yeah. Oh, but to be honest, I still prefer the G-Deck version. Yeah, but that's that's because, you, uh, you know, yeah, because of my old head. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Swizz is so like, if you never heard, good. If you never heard a G-Deck version, yeah, you'd say is. this is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> but it's only crazy. You don't know the beat, like, for me, it's annoying because it's like when DJ Khaled come out with Wild Thoughts. I thought, you don't fuck hey, with it. Hey, mess with Hey. Where the love go? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. Uh, go. Hey, listen. Carter Disclaimer, five, we don't man. own the music. Carter 5 has been uh, registered in sales as close to 500 million uh. copies. I was, well, uh, I said the question, 500 million. Not quite. I said to... 475? Stream. No, no, well, I mean... Stream. Sold is thin, we, we have to be very clear nowadays. Apparently now, actually, on Billboard, they have to actually be very clear they on the to, split of they, units. They, yeah, uh, what, yeah. is the, what is the number? It's units. So you are right in what you're saying. I 500 so. million streams. Right. Yeah, it's units as a whole. Units, the way it's broken down by Billboard, it works out around, I think... 350k 350 on the first week on the first week that's, that's still that's still the third and it's it was, not even top that's the third top selling first. album this year it wasn't the first week it was Do you like know five it is though there's too many five songs days on it. yeah, yeah. it landed it came songs. out on a saturday that's why it came out on a friday or saturday no, it came friday, out friday friday night friday yeah. Do you know what the thing is yeah. people kept going oh wheezy's back wheezy never left he just didn't have his music coming he was just storing music until that court case and the thing was every if anybody no because if anybody listened to the the odd 16 he'd spit on a random person's track he was still spitting fire. It's just, we weren't ever hearing it because... Yeah. And I feel like he goes through occasional stages of just chatting shit. Just chatting, Because I, mean, yeah. well, I remember he, he said, uh, Wheezy he F and the F is for phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, we remember, we used to joke about that. Yeah. But Wheezy a motherfucker. But Pets, Pets, but Pets, <laughs> what? You, when you're Wheezy, you can do that, bro. Yeah. And when you're high off... No, when Phenomenal when starts with P. Bro, we, when, when you're high off everything high under off the sun. The whole fucking world, Everything bro. rhymes with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do you know what I mean? And we but still... I'm still listening to And we still that. bought into that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, that's just the, when you're an artist... But then I like Lil Pump. You, you know get, what I mean? I like a guy singing, let's get it. And I'm like... I'm doing the Fortnite and I'm like... I catch myself in the mirror. What are you doing, man? Stop. I haven't got through the whole album yet. It's no, 23 no, right. records. Yeah, it's I listen to it. DJ Mustard is hard, though. Hard. Yeah. Open safe. I, I listen to it. Me, me, me and Sammy listened to the whole album on the drive up to London on Saturday. Good. I tell you what, we finished it. Looked at each other, went. Do you what know that? what? Sound project. Do you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm, about yeah. a, I'm about 11 songs in. Like. It's not car free. It's no, too many songs, be. though. Won't too be. many yeah. songs. I'm, but, you can't put 23 songs I'm about 11 songs in. Like, Properly, and I've, I've listened to more, but I'm saying I've actually sat right. down. Anything you should have done and I, this And thing. I think already I'm giving it a solid eight. That Mona Lisa with Kendrick. Uh, yeah, but is it L- uh, Lil Wayne that you like? Different. Kendrick? Yeah, no, I love Kendrick. I love, <laughs> I love Wayne's storytelling. Yeah. The way Wayne. It's different. The way the, the way the Wayne sets up the sets up the image, sets up the narrative, you know and then Kendrick it? comes in with the different characters about around yeah, that yeah, narrative. I was, I was yeah, just about yeah. to say, That's boom. The, Wayne Wayne gives him like. Like the bringing, like he almost sets it up for Kendrick to. When kill he it. builds he the foundation, Kendrick. Kendrick lays them bricks. Kendrick yeah, yeah. takes a lot from Lil Wayne. That's what I'm well. saying. Like, like when, not Wayne, in that song specifically, but, but in, in general, general the yeah. whole like going up in tones, his flow, yeah, pitch, yeah, 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 pitch bending, his cadence. Like, you know how yeah, like, was, I feel sorry for Kendrick's engineer fan because his voice is going. Yeah, is it mixed crazy. beats, mixed mix by Ali? But you know what? He's probably used to that shit and yeah, got presets all day. He's yeah. probably, got, he's probably got presets for all his voices. Probably, he probably did has. It in one studio yeah. session. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if anyone else did that, just going like, 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 <laughs> I think, why are you rapping like a woman to anyone else? Yeah. But when Kendrick does it, it's it's, it's, it's gold. He's like the, for me, he reminds me of Puck because Puck was a storyteller. Yeah, he was a poet yeah. first and foremost. Yeah. Biggie was just like. A lyricist. A, a street lyricist, yeah. yeah. Whereas like Puck told bomb. stories in a way that no matter where you're from, you could understand. But that's why like. they were considered the greatest amongst a lot. Yeah. And what was always considered different to it, because no one, people would say you you either liked one or the other yeah. because yeah. they were so different. But in this day and age, you can like yeah. both. Because they're, can we, they're two are, very different. Are we, are, can we put Wayne in the conversation now? Of one of the greatest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I always put oh, oh, he's always been there. Years ago. I know, I know, but... 
the fact that he's released this he's album released after album. after hiatus for quite a while from a major project. Yeah. But at the same like, time, it really does show he's it, not missed the fucking hard, step. Because my favorite Wayne is like Young Wayne. Is like, Young like Fireman, like Hot Boys. No, yeah. before that, like no, Cash Wayne. Money days when they were linking up with No Limit. Yeah, like, probably Cash Money Million. No Limit, Cash Money era is my favorite. My favorite Wayne. When you had all the CDs that had like the No Limit ones had like different colors and shit. Oh, my favorite Wayne like, is yes. Carter Free, man. BG. Uh, this is murder. And Come what did I say? What did Can't I say? Free, even last episode or the episode before that, Do you know I said if we can all sit here and everyone has a different favorite Wayne album, yeah. he's the, one the one boy is doing something good. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I was yeah, gonna say, true. Carter Free, yeah, Absolutely. is one of my favorite albums. But do you know what? Lyrically, it's not his best. That album, he's super swaggy on it. Yeah, and he's very personal. Carter yeah, Four is, the same is thing with this album. Yeah, but you gotta understand, I'm Wayne. Obviously, birthed a lot of the music that's coming out now. Yeah, Drake, of course. Yeah, the yeah, whole, yeah. the whole young fucking, Funk. Let's the whole just talk young about fuck, that. Young Fug, the whole like, sound. I really get pissed off with you. We're young not allowed to talk about Young Fug. He, yeah, bitch. he's not allowed to talk about Young Fug. He's a bitch, mate. Honestly, but, but you got you. He's you a got, very talented artist. You got to understand, like when he birthed, degree. when he, Wayne birthed person. a whole new sound, right? So for me, I was not on Wayne before. I was on Jay, I was yeah, on yeah. the well, DMXs, say, was I was on... He was that day's Young Fug. So noticed. when he got to that point, when he got to Carter 5 and a milli dropped, I was like, yeah, oh, he went crazy this on that is, one. This is this is That and six foot, seven foot. Oh, yeah. it was, shit. It was the but lyrics, then I feel the like lyrics. Corey Guns has a better verse on that song. He does, but it's just, it's like that back to back from he going from a milli to six foot, seven foot. You just, you just knew where Wayne was going. Yeah, yeah. yeah Do you know what? Where you were going with that whole uh, East Coast sound, it's true, and it's actually noted, and Wayne actually says it himself, if it wasn't for Dipset, basically giving Wayne the plug, like literally saying, you know what, Wayne is cool, yeah. nobody would have listened to the well, music from down south. Well, one of one of one of it's Wayne's favourite... No, it's one of Wayne's... Wayne's they held that much weight up. And, up and remember, and, and, and Dipset... One of Wayne's well, favourite artists is Joel Santana. Yeah, as I said, when... Oh, yeah, because that's why they got the I Can't Feel My Face that never, ever really got okay. released. Oh, I wish I got released, man. Oh, that's why they did it. Listen, it, it's noted, because Wayne has said it, Cam has said it, Joel's said it, even Jim said it, but Wayne Wayne was the one that literally verified yeah. it. He was like, and you know if, what it, if was? it wasn't for Dipset people probably wouldn't even listen to me to, to the day because they were the first people to really be like you need to listen to Wayne yeah. and remember Dipset were the, were, were the guys yeah, at yeah. that point that's like I remember um, the story Cameron tells about bringing Jewels to the studio for the first time yeah and like Jewels was about 15, about 16 13. Yeah, some mad like young age, and he says like, like yeah. he would he would dress exactly the same, the bandana yeah, the with the little. Hat, with yeah. the, so he say he come through, and they were like, yeah, just rap over this. And apparently he tore the thing yeah, down. Of course he did. Apparently, I think like Swiss Beats was in there. Like there's better producers and artists, and everyone was like. So. Uh, this is gonna so yo. This is gonna piss. This is gonna piss Wesley right off. But I need to do this right now. He always makes assumptions. What is this? Who's that? Brand new Swiss beats. Oh, Young Thug. Yeah. Young I, Thug. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like it. Man. This track's good. I actually like it. Yeah. You know, it's just... Oh, fuck! out of here this is good no, what do you, know you mean it's good nigga no do you know what I what's know, up hey yo no, look at this motherfucker right now yeah. you know? look how angry he is that he can't what? pigeonhole me no, do you look know? how angry he is I know why Wesley likes it and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna back Wesley on this one it's Swiss, back Wesley it's Swiss, it's Swiss listen yeah Swiss. two out of two bruv I'm beat. two for two it's I'm that gonna cash you ten for ten I'm not gonna lie it's that because if you take a if you listen to that acoustic if you just heard a young thug spit you'd be like it's alright but it's that Swiss beat yeah it's, it's crazy. No, don't do that. Don't no, do that. Is, is. Don't do that. Oh, shut fuck. the fuck don't up. Shut no, up. Young Someone right here. Wait. Hear wait. Me, hear what I said. Wait. Hear what I said. I wait. Said, good. T, I'm going to come with an ether. Wait. I'm going to come with an ether. Wait. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Listen, yeah. This Shut is talking. Up. This is talking from a guy, yeah. Oh my. God. This is talking from a guy, yeah, oh who said, God. in order to win a rap battle, you have to have the best beat. Listen to me. Did you just hear? Did you hear? Did you just hear, Young Thug? Calm down. I'm, I'm, like this is this. Is, I like. I, actually, I, I like actually the song. Like Why I are like you getting I got annoyed? A, you have to like the I got song. a Young Thug. No, I don't have to. You, at least, yeah. Talk to me. Do you feel Young Thug would be the Young Thug he is now without, without Leo Cohen? It's a good question. 
Because uh, Leo Cohen makes stars. That's a good question. Migos wouldn't be Migos without Leo. That's a good question. He's getting the um, and he he's getting the big go, icon right? award, didn't he? He had won the um the I mean, billboard. I, I think I, it sounds like nobody gives Leo the props he deserves. Just, he is. Man, he's, he's, getting, he's getting the icon award. That's some bullshit, though, man. Come on, like it's been how many years? Is, he's is, been putting is, in is work. It's like a it's like a glorified well done. You've done something. Yeah, it's like, not. It's not. Oh, okay. Real... After twenty five years yeah. of hard work, here's a trophy. It's like it's like, <laughs> it's like getting an honorary Grammy. Like, like in hip hop, like yeah, that guy used to like, come to the hood solo. You've never won a Grammy from best album or best writing or best production, but here's a lifetime award for the lifetime Grammy. Away from the fact that Wesley just said he likes young fuck. He likes young fuck. Pedro, Pedro, do me a favor, mate. I can fucking tell. This bastard. I, I, got, I do fuck tell him. Me. Tell him. Tell I him. Give Wesley his props, yeah, because even if he doesn't like something, if you tell him to listen to it or it's popular. Why do I need to tell him to listen to, to something? Sometimes I'll be like, yo, you should listen to We this. all like, make today, recommendations. I put him like, Recommend this. I put him onto like a, I put him on a SoundCloud <laughs> Guys, like today. Oh, yeah, that like, guy was dope. But he was really you, good. Yeah, he's hard. Like, yeah. he's, a, he's a young pause. dude that's coming through. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. I don't need to pause. I'm straight. I don't need to do no pause, bro. <laughs> I, was, I, do I, see, I see a sketch about this the other day, bro. Only man them that are pausing. You can say some gay things just because you say pause. No, bro. Make your point. Make your point. Make your point. Talk your shit. I'm at, bro. I'm so angry now. That SoundCloud rapper. Yeah, and. Like, I, like, like, Wes usually, like, I'll say, listen to this. And sometimes he'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, whatever. And then at this moment in time, he was like, Turn you know what? I got time. I'm going to listen to it. And then usually you'll be like, no, nah, it's not that good. But you were like, yo, this is dope. T's very much like me when it comes to sort of like, I, I think our musical taste is, is quite similar. similar. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, to, to a degree, I like the horrorcore shit. But yeah, like, yeah. this, this um, guy who uh, Peds showed me today, really good. Did you watch a video? No, I didn't get around to watching the video, no. <laughs> this guy's sort of, that's what hooked me. Because I think he got signed by, you know, the dude that does the No Jumper podca podcast? Yeah. And he interviews all these, like, upcoming SoundCloud rappers. Adam, yeah. Adam22 or whatever his name is. If you haven't listened to him, listen to No do Jumper you know who, podcast. Do you, all right, I got, I got an up, up and comer that's pretty decent. Jaffro. Mm -hmm. Jaffro? Have you ever heard of him? No. He's, he's, so he's originally from Lewisham. Okay, he, English brother. Yeah, he's originally from Lewisham. He represents Leicester now because he's, he's lived in Leicester for mm -hmm. a while. Hi. Sorry, bro. Hard. This Pause. guy, lyrically, is young as always, 21, Guyanese, oh, Guyanese guy, he is different, like, yeah. I'm talking about, alright, for, for the foodies, for you lot as well, YouTube, Jeffro, Black Box, I think it like is. J-A-F-R-O. Mm -hmm. J-A, like -A literally J-Afro. Okay. Yeah. One word. Yeah, it's okay. seven minutes of pure fire, absolute fire. Yeah. He goes through about six different styles of flow of, of, when spitting. Oh, yeah. Madness. And but, then he spits over an old school beat that you'd like as well. Before we wrap up, because as you can probably hear the buzzer, our time's almost up. We're being kicked out, this motherfucker. <laughs> Trim's going to kill me if I don't do this. So I'm just going to quickly round up the music reviews real quick. So, Wayne's album, round the room, out of 10. I'm only halfway through, so I, and I'm giving it an 8. You're giving it an 8. I'd probably give it about a 7 or 8. Pedro? Due to the amount of tracks, I'm going to have to lower the rating. I'm going to give it a uh, 6.5. Okay, that's still respectable. G, uh, 10, um, I'm, I'm, C5. I'm the same with uh, with uh, Tyreek. I haven't listened to the whole album. Okay. But at the moment, it's definitely up there. I'd say, I'd, I'd give it 6 out of 10 right now. Cool. Um, Logic dropped his album, Young Sinatra 4. Yep, yep. Banger. Banger. Not... Uh, not really a skippable track in my opinion. Yep. Highlight okay. track, 100 Miles and Running with Wale. Yep. Fuck me, this guy goes on rapid. It is a mad track. The beat is, the beat is real. The that's, beat's one of those beats, yeah? That's his fastest verse, right? Yeah, hmm? yeah, yeah, That's his fastest verse he's ever spat. He, I think he said afterwards, that's the fastest verse. Yeah, he's, he's got a great interview in Hard Knock TV, by yeah. the way, about this. Um, uh, K J K Kojo Funds. Kojo Funds. I'm only halfway gigs. through. Uh, the gigs oh, track. track. Banger. Yeah, PNG. Banger. That's Great. Track. Go listen Great to track. that. Go listen to that. Check that out. Also, um, tomorrow, new Ghostface Killer album tomorrow. But I'm on that. Release one. Yeah. I'm on to that. He's going wait in for at that. the moment. New he Ghostface. emails me every day. I'm on his mailing list, right? And literally, I get an email from Ghostface Killer every day. This Sick. guy's on it. Music. Sick. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't wait for that. Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury, who's gonna win that? Wilder, Wilder, Wilder! December the 1st. Fury, fam. Fury's got him. Mm. I, I love Wilder Deontay Wilder, he's a great fighter, but I watched uh, Tyson Fury's Breakfast Club interview yesterday. I did. So and whole, he, that, he breaks it down whole, so much better because yeah. he actually like talks about it in a logical way where he said, yeah, I've, I may have had two years of, my man's been fighting since he could walk, fam. He's yeah. a gypsy, bruv. What like, does that mean? He's a traveler. Like, what does he, that mean? He's born to fight. What There's, does that mean? 
that means that you are tra- you are brought up like as you learn um, to speak. So because he you are you are learning to that fight. Means he's a better fighter than Deontay. No, because Wilder. it's naturally in him, and it's not na- it's not natural. And like for Deontay Wilder's not, it's proven, not natural for someone. But Tyson else. Fury's proven, bro. That's bullshit for one. So, but All we won't right, do right. this. Well, this well, what's this the is, biggest fight? We got we got we've got we've got to wrap this up. Really? Okay, Luis Ortiz is the best. Was forty nine years old with a heart condition. Thirty nine for one. He's thirty nine. All right, so thirty nine. I had this I had this debate I had this I had this debate with AJ Stans, and I'm 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 a friend of AJ. I'm not the biggest boxer. Hold on, hold on. And yeah. I, this is why you can't have this conversation with me. Because Ortiz is actually seen as the best uh, technical boxer in the heavyweight decision. Yeah, division. but he's had his face punched. Hold on, a lot of hold time. on. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He has two losses. He's, he's, he's had his ass kicked. A he lot has of two time. losses. Get yeah. it right. Don't do this with me. Hey, you're talking Don't do like your Wilder's lover. Yeah, Don't feed into. I, I, I'll punch you in the face. In a Don't minute. feed into cheese. I'll, I'll punch you in the face. In a minute. He's had his ass kicked what, a few what makes times. Wilder will win though. Like aside of all of that, what makes you think Wilder's 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 what moist? Because Wilder's moist. The reason why I say this because no matter no matter what. And everybody has said this uh, Analysts, anyone Wilder can hit you in the first round Or in the 12th round Left anyone hand, can hit you in the shut up weight. Left hand or right hand Any heavyweight can, can hit you up. No, 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 no In the heavyweight There's division if you, okay. get hit by, if you get hit with really? any licks in really? your chin By really? any heavyweight really? It's going to shook your really? ass Listen, uh, can we go Listen to this Wilder, next episode Wilder, 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 Listen, I think, I think Wilder's more reach I think Wilder's going to get it what, what? I think Wilder's going to win it. Tell, let me tell you something about Wilder. He's never really fought anyone tough. And that's the whole pro- that's the problem AJ. I've got. But we're not talking about AJ. We're talking about Tyson Fury. Tyson Who did Fury, Fury fight? Tyson Fury besides had, Klitschko. Tyson Fury had all the belts, right? Who did Fury fight Tyson besides Fury, Klitschko? Tyson Fury. Because then no me. one's tested. Let's Tyson be real Tyson Fury then. for me. Ah, I can tell the, Okay, is, then no one's tested. If you're going to say Wilder's not tested, then AJ's not tested, and nor is Fury. No, and he's got a great point there. Let's, 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 let's call a spade a spade. If Fury lives at Wild, least, like Ortiz Wilder, was old Wilder, when he fought Ortiz. What are you talking about? 39. Everyone's and, 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 being right, right, Klitschko. I'm, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to do this right Klitschko's now. Klitschko's like the hold punching me, bag. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to do this right now. AJ, yeah. when, when Klitschko fought Fury, he was 40. Shh. When mm-hmm. AJ fought uh, Klitschko, he was 42. Shh. When uh, Wilder fought Ortiz, he was 39. Inactive for but eight months. Hold on. In a, inactive for... Klitschko also has seven losses, bro. Let's not do this. All right, listen to me. Let's not do listen this. Listen to me. Because I'll fight, turn into the Wilder fight, now, bro. The, <laughs> the fight with Deontay Wilder and... Uh, it's going to be a great Ortiz. fight either way. The fight with Deontay, and, or, Deontay Wilder and Ortiz... The Wilder nearly got his face punched off, and okay. we almost saw him get knocked out yeah, in that fight. And that's because technically, of, Wilder, of, of, because of technically Wilder is just a swingers. He's got no technical skills. He's bollocks at boxing. He is. And no, he's a crap boxer. I, I, I won't deny that. I, I won't deny I, that. I'm glad I won't deny. But here's that. the thing. Here's the thing. Whether he's a crap boxer or not, he knows he's not the best boxer. He never ever once said he's the best boxer. But if a man can lick your head off at any point <laughs> with one shot, bro, it doesn't matter if you're a good boxer yeah, or not. But T, but T, good boxer. Hold on. Hear what I'm saying. Because because Fury can jab him out. All the, what you've got to seem to understand is yeah, whether reach makes a lot of difference. So hold on, let, let let me let me tell you one thing. Fury, Wilder always anticipates getting hit. There's a difference. He knows he's going to get licked in the face because of the way he fights. So he's already conditioned himself to take one. What you've then got to do is take one of his. Has anybody been able to take one of his and, and is still standing? Bro, bro. No, no. Uh, yes or no. Yeah, but, so one word answer. Yeah, yes or no. no, no Has but, anybody taken one no, of Wilder's and no, is still standing? The, the point yes is, or no. The point is. The point is somebody night, with more podcast. experience, and <laughs> the point is with somebody with more oh, yeah, technical yeah, savvy <laughs> skills will knock Wilder the fuck out because Wilder doesn't know how to guard his chin. So he everybody, know so how everybody to, Wilder's thought has been a worse. I feel than like him. Wilder would beat AJ definitely, and I want Wilder to win. I doubt that too. I doubt that too. I doubt that because AJ. Do you know what AJ's like? <laughs> do, you know, do you know what AJ's like to me when I watch AJ? He adapts himself to every single fight that he's fought. He will ad- he will not he's not going to get sparked out by Wilder in the ring. He will prepare for that he fight. That and fight if, won't go to He will rounds. prepare for that fight. If and if Wilder yeah. does come at it's him Saturday. and start swinging, right. AJ's gonna punch him, knock him the fuck out. Oh, no, so no, no, no. no. We're Wilder Fury high, so high, Wilder high, Fury high, on the fir- um, Wilder Fury is December, December the first. Well, we're talking about AJ 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 Wilder. No matter what. I'm just listening to this shit like never ever. Trying to keep dates. <laughs> Somebody will get knocked out. Fury Wilder may go 12 rounds because Fury's going to go in there not to get knocked out. There's a difference because yeah. Fury goes into certain fights when he knows this is what I rate about Fury. He is actually the smartest boxer. As much as he acts like an idiot, he's probably technically the smartest man in the heavyweight
heavyweight division when it comes to boxing. The reason being is because he literally analyzes everybody. Mm -hmm. So he will go into that fight and not get knocked out. Mm -hmm. I still think he's going to lose. However, AJ Wilder, someone will get knocked out purely because AJ, one, won't want to get punked. Two, AJ is known to lose his call. Cool. Three, Wilder has already lost his call cool before he stepped in the ring. So one of them will get rattled and it will turn into yeah. a, a club fest and one of them will get knocked out. It's funny how we can like talk stats but we're all talking hypotheticals yeah, at the end of the day <laughs> we don't know we don't know what's going to happen we don't actually know and you know the <laughs> like, conversation T, people T all talks the time, it so fucking convincingly though and, and the best thing about it I'm sold bruv you're like an estate agent yeah. you know I'm, I'm sold I'm going to buy the house cuz you know what the worst thing about it is life happens as well man could go in there and have his mind on on something else Yeah, man could go in there and have a cold and get knocked up because he's got a stuffy nose but that's what I said that's what I said in the first place in the heavy weight division anyone can get sparked but that's in boxing and anybody yeah. can get knocked because yeah. the punches out. are so heavy, heavy you're right yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, if, if you go on there if you go in there and on the day you're slipping or you're half stepping yeah. your chin will of get course. checked you get and cool you're done because you know, I feel like that. AJ is just more of a marketing tool than he is an actual he's the greatest mo- right, I had this conversation real like quick with, with, I, got, I got another group yeah he's light skin. He's light skin. what's wrong with light skin no because he's light skin he's good looking and he's marketable listen if he was dark skin nah you ain't AJ bro real talk Femi fuck Q Femi. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. Um, I mean, but it's like, look, there's certain boxers that were dark skinned that could have had the same sort of marketing opportunities, but because they weren't, you know, AJ looking, yeah, yeah, they didn't yeah. get no, of course, it. You know? he's, 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 and it's like because he's, he's a marketing god. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they see how chicks love him up. Uh, like. So I put this in, in our in our tuck shop group and I put it in in a different group. And the other group's got a few more boxing heads. Tuck shop group, uh, it was a bit suspect. I said, would AJ win a world title in the Lennox Lewis era? Right, Re- and I, mm. I I went as far as the Lennox Lewis era being the middle of Tyson's era, not the end of Tyson. The middle. Why of Tyson's do you do era. that? The I reason like being the fight, because Lennox was yeah. around him, and the reason why I say that is yeah. because th- I think this heavyweight division right now is not as good as that heavyweight division. We it's know not that, right? We all so, know that. So, but I put that question out there, and a couple people in our group were like, "Yeah, well, because Frank Bruno, fuck that shit." With AJ win a title in that era. Do you Probably not think they're not. just more cautious no. now, though? Because Probably not. Because the right. long term, no. the long term. It's the shortest debate ever. The long, <laughs> but, but <laughs> the just thing was, no. It's not even that. The boxers in that era were way better. They were. They were way better. We all know that. Not, to be honest, though, I'm not saying they were better, but they were more willing to fight each other. Yeah. yeah. For, no, oh, they, they yeah. were more Hollywood. Like, r- r- all right, yeah. I'm going to say exactly because I watched this interview yesterday. Mike Tyson before the Lennox Lewis press conference. What the fuck? Yeah. He was just trying to say anything he could. Yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to fuck you in the ass. I'm going to bite your kids. Bag. I'm going I'm I'm like, to kill your aunt. I'm going to fuck you in the ass. I'm going to fuck I'm you kiss in the you. ass until you love me. <laughs> pause. And then, yeah, pause. And then you, <laughs> and then you the call the guy a fact. Me. Like, yeah. seriously, yeah. that's not trash talk. Uh, that's, that's what just, Jimmy Savile says. That's just trying to sell the fight. And that's why, like, Prime Mike would have probably beat. But then Pedro. Yeah, But then Pedro. But at the end of the day, probably, day, right? At the end of the day, most boxers have At the end of the day, we're all talking about entertainment, Mike. and we're all talking yeah. about two people trying to sell a fight. Yeah. And that's there's what a comes picture that to. came out, and Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder sitting in a chair together, so selling a fight. Was it each other? Man said like yeah. they started parring ludicrous lyrics. He's like, "When I move, you move," and Tyson Fury goes, "Just like that." Listen, come on, bro. You know who's the boys, bro? Dylan White, and this is why I love Dylan White, and this is why people need to no, people need to give him his his respect. Yeah. Dylan White said, it was so pantomime, all they need to do is go, he's behind you! (laughs) But it's true. Done. Mate, honestly, what the fuck? This is one of those podcasts, That didn't have no flow. It could literally go on forever. Yeah. Forever, ever. This is never, ever. It's good. It's been good. Never, ever. It's been good. Um, Let's wrap this shit up and say uh, we gotta have these two back. Can I just say that, by the way? We we didn't go on track. This has actually been the funnest I don't even know how much time has passed. I mean, I yeah, it's flown by. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, this is bit, we need um, Pedro and T back. Yep, uh, for, for sure, sure. For definitely. Sure. Um, for sure. This has been a fun episode. No, I'll bring the Hennessy next time. Shout out to Trimless <laughs> and DJ Neglect. <laughs> Big up. Uh, if you want to follow us, then get us on Instagram at Fast Food Podcast. Um, on Facebook, exactly the same, and on YouTube, exactly the same as that. Subscribe, say safe, subscribe, subscribe. We want, say, we want to say safe journeys to trim to Turkey. Hope you get there safely, bro. Um, and well safe chills to maintain his hammock. D- DJ neglect. What's going on? Talk to me. Hope the zebra bites you in your life. Uh, out your life. <laughs> yeah, man. Is that one? He's living in Wakanda right now. He's right? living yeah. in Wakanda. He's president. 
I've been seeing the videos been putting up. I'm like, you got time just to break down the whole podcast. Like you're living life. But bro. he does. But the, the problem Where is he Bang doesn't. Garden has zebras. The, the, the <laughs> pub, that's why we're calling. Garden that's why we're calling him shit. DJ Neglect because he's in Wakanda taking a piss. <laughs> the other ones he do. takes. This he is did the, the live video reviewing. Yeah, we're hating right now. We're all he hating, did the live video reviewing. That he reviewed the last troll. episode, didn't he? Yeah. And I watched it live while I was I at work. Yeah, he and he's it. basically got his Wi Fi is so shit. He's probably got a zebra holding the fucking yeah. shit, <laughs> trying to get all the connection. <laughs> that, right? I saw a parakeet just fly zebra, past, like it's like. Do you see the monkey? Do you see the monkey video? He's got monkeys jumping from garden to garden. Yeah, yeah. Don't be wrong. He's living life, and more power to him, man. More power to him for real. Um but yeah, man, this has been Wes he Wears, Morgan Hyde's T, Pedro Songs. Uh, you two, give your, give your plugs quick. Give your shameless plugs. Go on, Peds. At Pedro Songs 1 on Instagram, at Pedro Songs on the Twitter, SoundCloud, everything else. Just Pedro Songs. At Pedro Songs 2 on the Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> at T Clichy on Facebook. Instagram's back up now. Um, Fast Food Podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Instagram, and the Facebook. Cool. Until next time. Peace, motherfuckers. Peace. Peace. Peace.